Hello students, welcome back. This is a 2005 question for one mark. They are saying which of the following is equivalent to A XOR, B XOR, C. Okay, you have four options and you need to analyze only three. Okay, so let's see this. Now, when is the XOR of three inputs going to be high? In these four cases, how do I know? Because XOR outputs high when odd number of inputs are high. What I mean? 1, 2, 3. 3 is an odd number. That means if all the three inputs are high, output is going to be high. Okay. So 1, 1, 1 will lead to output 1. You can even just see it. See, 1 XOR 1 is 0. And 0x or 1 will be 1. Okay, so it is high. And uh, we have uh, output is equal to high whenever odd number of inputs are high. Other possible cases, only one input is high. One is odd number. That means any one of these three, if it's high and the rest two are 0, output is going to be 1. Okay, so these three cases. Except for these four cases, there does not exist any other input for which the output is going to be high. You can just see it for 0, 1, 1. What will be the output? Let's see. Obviously, we know we have even number of 1 that's going to be 0. But still, let's analyze it. 0 XOR 1 is 1. And 1 XOR 1 is 0. Okay. So, there are only these four cases for which the output is going to be one. Now let's analyze these options. I can see one, one, one here. In option C, one, one, one exists. Okay, that means this case is covered. Option C will output high if this is one, okay. Also it will output high if this term is one. To make this term one, we need to have A is equal to zero. Okay, A is equal to 0 and any one of B or C has to be 1. Mind it, any one. Here also we have any one. Okay. So any one of B and C can be 1. That means these two cases. Okay. And this one says B has to be 0. To make this entire term 1, B has to be 0. Okay. And any one of A and C can be high. So these are all the cases where uh, expression C will output a 1. Now if you see 1, 1, 1, we have it. Next one is 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, we have it. 0, 1, 0, we have it. Okay. And 0, 0, 1, we have it. So these two are exactly same. And we also have a repetition here, but uh, that does not matter. Okay. Just count it twice. Sorry, once. Now you see, this option outputs 1 on all these cases and outputs 0 on the in rest of the cases. That means this one has to be equivalent to C. Okay, and moreover, we don't need to do all these things. It's clear from just from the expression that either all are ones. Here also we have odd number of ones. Any one is one. Here also we have odd number of ones. And again, any one of the inputs is one. Here also we have odd number of ones. And both of these cases combinedly cover all the three possible inputs. Okay, where uh, we have odd number of ones. And you can also expand it. If you want to expand it, see we have A, B, C, A, B, C plus A bar into B bar C plus C bar B. Then you have B bar into A bar C plus C bar A. So this will come out to be A, B, C plus C 
so you can see this is what we get on expanding it this is all ones and c is one b is one or a is one okay so the answer is option c